What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. I want to show you how to find out derivative of f of x. f of x is x squared plus 3 to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 2. So it's going to be f prime x. How do we do it? We need to use a method called chain rule differentiation. What does that mean, chain rule differentiation? It is saying that if you want to find out derivative of y with respect to x, if y is the function of u and u is the function of x, then you can say the derivative of y with respect to u times derivative of u with respect to x is going to be equal to derivative of y with respect to x. For example, if you have u to the power of n and you want to find out derivative, it's going to be n times u to the power of n minus 1 times u prime. That's going to be the answer. So let's go back to the question here. We have x squared plus 3 to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 2. So it's going to be 2 times, if you follow this, x squared plus 3 to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 2 minus 1 times x squared plus 3 to the power of 5 plus x try now let's find out this one the derivative of this expression is going to be x squared plus 3 to the power of 5 derivative will be 5 times x squared plus 3 to the power of 4 times derivative of x squared which is 2x plus derivative of x which is going to be 1 so that's going to be 10x times x squared plus 3 to the power of 4 plus 1. So that's going to be the derivative of this part. So in total it's going to be 2 times x squared plus 3 to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 2 minus 1 is 1. We don't write it. Times 10x x squared plus 3 to the power of 4 plus 1. So that's basically the final answer. We leave it like that. We don't need to simplify it more. We basically cannot simplify it more as far as I see. Just leave it like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding differentiation, integration, and other topics in calculus, physics, and chemistry. I will leave some related videos and playlists in the description in case you need extra practice questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.